Hello, Digital Commanders! First of all, we just want to thank you for subscribing and following us on Twitter and Facebook. We now have over 6,000 subscribers! Hooray! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, you're too kind. Alright, on with the episode. This episode's going to be a little different. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly a cool new game that I've been playing called... Bit Trip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. I picked it up a couple of days ago and I figured that we'll take a little break from Wrath of the Fallen. If you've been following along with us, that Minecraft adventure map is just ridiculously difficult for David Chaffwick and I. Now it's almost hilarious to watch us fail and die repeatedly. Bit Trip Presents Runner 2 is an arcade style rhythm game. There are 122 levels plus hidden levels and boss fights. So I picked a level that's in the middle of the road in the first chapter so it's not too easy, it's not too hard. The objective is pretty simple, all you need to do is make it from one end of the level to the other. Uh, the difficult part is avoiding all the obstacles in your way and your character commander video never stops running so the game never slows down or waits for you. There are quite a few different varieties of obstacles that requires you to either jump, slide, kick, block, or bounce and a few others that I haven't unlocked yet. I think the best part about this game is definitely the music and the sound effects. Every time you slide or jump over an enemy or pick up gold, you make a different note. And it aligns with the background music, hence the rhythm part of the game. I'll stop talking and let you guys listen for a little bit. Amazing achievement! If you finish the level by collecting everything, you get a bonus chance to get even more points. Wow, that was perfect. I wish all my games were like this. Fortunately, it's not. Okay, now I want to show you guys a really cool bonus feature, a bonus level. Uh, retro Runner 2. Just look at the faces on those trees. I mean, what if all trees have faces? I mean, that's the that's the scariest thing I could think of. In all those fairy tale movies where trees have faces, ah, it's so freaky. What's gonna be our building material? Just just dirt then? If trees have faces, then do plants and flowers have faces too? No. See. This is what happens when you die. When you die, you start all the way back from where you started. Or where you hit the checkpoint. And it's, it's really difficult to talk and play at the same time. And also thinking about trees with faces or other objects with faces. What if rocks had faces? Oh my god. I don't know what kind of fantasy that is. More like a nightmare. Well, I guess if the trees were really, really nice, that would be kind of cool. You could have a conversation with it, like, Hey, did you go anywhere today? And the tree would go, No, I've been here for the last hundred years. Then I would run away, quickly. Okay, now I'm going to show you a boss fight. I really like how this game tries to switch it up with boss fights and retro mini games. So the game doesn't feel too stale on long playthroughs. Alright, so apparently all the evil things in this game are machines. And possibly trees with faces. Oh, okay, now I see I got cocky. Another thing you can do is you can dance. You can hit the right trigger and you can dance and earn more points. 2,000 points. And so if you want to be on the leaderboard, damn it. If you want to be on the leaderboard and be higher ranked, then you do crazy things like this to earn more points. I wonder what these dance moves are called. They're pretty wacky. Okay. Whoa. Ugh. Oh, 
Shoot. Okay, okay. I, I promise I won't dance anymore. Just kidding. <laughs> it's almost like a taunt. I want to taunt the boss. Can I dance? Dance! They're not gonna get me. No. Dance, dance, dance. Yes. That's how you... You need to do that two more times and then a boss dies. No! Oh. That was a risky dance. Imagine in real life you just find any moment to do a stupid dance. That'd be awesome. Dance, dance, dance. Okay, one more time and the boss is down. Dance, 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 dance. Oh. Alright, that's getting harder. Dance, dance. Whoa, okay. No more dancing. If I die now, I need to start all the way from the beginning. I won't do that to you guys. I did it! The boss is dead. Look at that evil octopus in the back. I don't even know what that is. An evil mountain? What do you think that thing eats? I mean, it has a mouth, so it has to eat something. Bullseye. 10,000 points! Okay, now I want to show you guys one of the harder levels in the first chapter with one of the weirdest characters I've ever seen in a video game. I think his name is Uncle Dill, and he's a pickle. Um, I want to show you guys some of the obstacles that I was, I was talking about in the beginning. So this is a kick obstacle, and this is a, a springboard obstacle. And these loopy things gives you more power-ups. More points. Jump, jump. If you jump over a checkpoint, it becomes a challenge. So you lose that checkpoint, but you get extra points. Oh, I just missed something there. Brain. These are the bouncy things, and these are um, blocks that you have to. Uh, I have to block with the shield. See, I missed the checkpoints. So have to start all the way from the beginning of the level. This game is actually kind of nerve-wracking to watch other people play. I saw a few other YouTube videos of people, other people playing, and I just had a really weird feeling in my stomach. Because at any moment they might hit something and just die. And they have to start from the beginning of the level. You don't know. It's like a shock to your system. Alright, I'm playing it safe now. Hopefully I don't die. So you guys don't get that shock in your gut. This game gives you a really good sense of accomplishment when you actually finish and complete the level. Because when you actually do that, you, that means you didn't hit anything and you collected maybe everything. Wow, the evil pink octopus mountain thing is really distracting. What does it eat? Dill pickles? <laughs> he has the most silliest stance ever. Alright, let's get the balls. The, no, we <laughs> completely missed the target. Typical for a dill pickle. <laughs> Rhymes. I'm so clever. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like our videos. It really helps. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter because sometimes we have public games with you guys on OMG Pop or live streams on Twitch. We have a lot of new games coming up, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.